Hi there, Leo. So I'm going to be doing your reading right now, and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if the reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present, and future. It's still going to be a love reading. Okay, Leo? I'm going to be pulling out angel cards at the end as well. So get, let's get the past energy for Leo, please. So I see the lovers in the page of pentacles. Somebody wanting to make an offer, possibly a tentative one though. But let's see, let's get the past energy for Leo, please. Well, there you go. The ten of pentacles, the nine of wands in reverse and the six of cups. Well, already starting off, great. But let's get the present energy for Leo, please. The present energy for Leo. Present energy for Leo. The Four of Pentacles, okay. The Five of Swords in reverse, okay. Present energy for Leo, please. Present energy for Leo. The hair font in reverse, okay. And now the future energy for Leo, please. Future energy for Leo. I see the Ace of Cups in the upright. The High Priestess in reverse. I'm getting tired from <laughs> future energy for Leo. There you go, the seven of cups in reverse. Okay. And then the overall. The nine of pentacles. Okay. Well, that's positive. So I see you being in this nine of pentacles energy. This could be you focusing on your independence, taking great care of yourself. This is also... Talking about healing, this is my self-care card. So that's the overall, which is awesome. And now for the past energy, I do see you possibly dealing with a soul connection. This is somebody that's wanting to take down barriers. Um, if there was any walls built up in this connection. And then I do see abundance here with the Ten of Pentacles or wish fulfillment. Hmm, it's very positive energy, but then um, I see someone having a lot of feelings here, but keeping it to themselves here with the Four of Pentacles. There could be stubbornness, but I see someone being aware of their feelings here with the Five of Swords in reverse, but they could be thrown off here with the Hair Fawn in reverse. Or this could be talking about like a spiritual connection, but there's a disconnect, okay? And I do see a brand new beginning in love here with the Ace of Cups, but you may not be able to see it with the High Priestess in reverse, okay? And um, with the Seven of Cups in reverse, I feel you will gain a sense of clarity, though, with the Seven of Cups in reverse, okay? But let me clarify. Let's... Clarify the overall of the Nine of Pentacles for Leo, please. The Nine of Pentacles, Pentacles. I really want to say Pentacles instead of Pentacles. <laughs> Let's clarify that. Okay. Let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. What's this? The Page of Swords. Justice in reverse. Oh, what's that? And judgment. Oh boy, so someone's made an important choice here. They're wanting to balance things out, possibly to make things right. This could have been talking about could be talking about potential communication or someone wanting to bring clarity to the situation here. And that's the overall. Okay? So this person could see this as being a faded 
encounter or fated connection. So let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. I don't know why when I'm reading, just something triggers them to the world in reverse. The world in reverse. So this is telling me that something's not quite over here, especially if there was a disconnect. But it's like, let me get two other cards. Yeah, Six of Swords in reverse. Wow, someone's not really detaching or moving on here. Could they could be seeing this. Yeah, Five of Wands in reverse. Okay, so I feel like this is somebody that's aware of their feelings, okay? Um, they're possibly seeing this connection as being their wish fulfillment. Um, yeah, I don't see an ending here. So let's clarify the Nine of Wands in reverse. like someone's not able to suppress their desires as well there you go the chariot so someone wants to come in on their chariot but let's get two other cards to clarify the nine of wands in reverse please it's too many cards let's try that again let's clarify the ch the nine of wands in reverse The Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So even though this is like the past energy, you can even be going through that, going through this now. Okay. But um, this is just a way for me to organize the reading here. But it's like someone overcoming their fears. And there you go, the Queen of Pentacles. So there's someone that's coming towards you on their chariot here. They've made a choice. Because I see judgment for the overall. And they're viewing you as being very loving and very nurturing. And again, this is you taking great care of yourself, focusing on your independence. Again, another self-care card, which is awesome. The Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here, okay? Um, so I see the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, which is awesome. So let's clarify the Six of Cups. There you go. This is talking about someone wanting to communicate, okay, and bring clarity to the situation, possibly to speak their truth. Um, oh boy, so there could have been a perceived ending here with death. This could even be you going through the... Oh boy, let me just get another card first. You could have gone through the through an ending in the past okay but look at that somebody and you may, maybe it required a lot of healing um so the six of cups talks about something from the past here and there could have been an ending and you had to go through the healing process so this could be you like having clarity or um wanting the truth Especially if someone's keeping their feelings to themselves here, okay? Interesting. Well, I do see the Page of Swords, which talks about communication and clarity. Wow, someone's been hit with a tower moment of realization. Didn't I say that someone's aware of their feelings here? And now it's like the tower. Um, and it's thrown this person off balance with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And the page of cups in reverse so this person's not expressing how they feel even though they do have a, a sense of realization this is talking about like a major shake up and has thrown this person off balance uh, so let's clarify this five of swords in reverse there you go the six of cups in reverse so i don't feel like this is the fool in reverse. Oh boy. So there is a disconnect here or just someone's really not telling you how they feel. And that's why there's no brand new beginning here with the fool card. Okay. And there you go. That's your emperor right there. 
Interesting. I feel like this person's keeping their feelings to themselves. I feel I'm picking up on stubbornness, okay? Um... Like I see in the present somebody wanting to bring clarity to the situation as well, right? Not being able to move on, not being able to t detach. But I see them heading in your direction. And then maybe they've been hit with some sort of tower moment of realization and then it's thrown them off balance when it comes to their feelings here. And now let's clarify the hair font in reverse. This person has to make a choice. The hair font in reverse, please. The hair font in... There you go. Someone's really unable to heal if there is a disconnect here. But I really feel like they've been thrown off balance here with temperance in reverse and the six of pentacles in reverse. There you go, the king of wands. So this person has a lot of passion towards you, okay? Um... Wow, uh, let me get another card. And that's why there's stagnancy. They're really thinking about this connection. Um, this person could be like overwhelmed by the way they feel or their passion towards you. Could be feel making them feel like they're drained, tired. This even could be talking about like contemplation at night here. So I see the star in the Four of Swords doesn't have to be it could be like them just really thinking about things here so it's like the three of swords to the four of swords so it seems like there is a disconnect so let's clarify the ace of cups so i do see a brand new beginning in love here but let's clarify the ace of cups please and there you go, the hair font in reverse, though. So this person could be seeing this connection as being very spiritual. So they do want a reconciliation. They do want victory or success in this. Yeah, the lovers. But it's like um, with this lovers card, um, the feminine is in solid. And the masculine is sort of faded there, right? So this is not really happening in the 3D, even though that's what somebody wants. And you may not be aware of it, or let's get a clar clarifiers for the high priestess in reverse. The High Priestess in reverse, please. Strength. Yeah, it, I feel like you're not able to see it. Seven of Wands. Oh boy, so someone's is like... I don't know if there's the Sun in reverse. So someone... Someone may not be listening to their intuition when it comes to you here. Even though they're aware of how they feel, or else there would be forward momentum, okay? So there could be like internal conflict that's kind of interfering with their intuition. It's making them quite unhappy here with the Sun card in reverse. And it's regarding you, strength, okay? So let's clarify the Seven of Cups in reverse. There you go, Nine of Swords. So if someone's really stuck up in their headspace, there is anxiety. And there you go, the Three of Swords in reverse. So they have to overcome um, that pain. There you go, the Moon. So someone's keeping their feelings hidden from you. They're feeling emotional, okay? This could even be talking about like dreaming because I see the Nine of Swords and the Moon card. So this person may dream about you and then wake up. And there you go. This is like something that's quite overwhelming. Um, interesting. But this is like the hidden energy. You may not see it that this person's quite anxious. Okay, like they're aware of how they feel here, but they've been thrown off. There's a lot of passion. Could be quite overwhelming here. They're wanting to reconcile. 
but maybe you're not able to see it or they're um, maybe they're not able to um, so if they're kind of confused about the way you feel as well so there could be a lot of internal conflict they could even be suppressing their desires here and that could be interfering with their intuition so I feel like this is being kept hidden from you so But I feel like with the overall, this is what somebody wants to do. They do want to express or bring clarity to the situation. They do want to um, make things right. But I guess this is the choice that they have to make here with judgment. So let me get further advice from the angel cards. For Leo, please. two cards wanted to come out look at that balance again talking about balance and the six of fire and now let's get one card from this deck for leo please okay soul star activation okay Balance, Archangel Zadkiel, Zadkiel, interesting. The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. So someone has to balance themselves out first. Especially if they're feeling emotionally unbalanced because they're keeping their feelings to themselves here, right? <laughs> It's interesting we're talking about balance and then we get the card about balance here. So I feel like if anything were to work, there has to be a compromise and cooperation between the both of you in order to achieve balance in this dynamic. And it's saying wait for perfect timing or someone could be waiting for the perfect time. But the six of fire, which is like the six of wands, victory, good news is on its way, public recognition or rewards. So... Did I see the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, so like, I feel like um, whatever effort that you're placing it, uh, you know, into when it comes to your finances, okay, or your passions, I feel like you're going to reap the rewards here. So this could be talking about like being recognized for it as well. This is talking about like victory and success, but look at this. Soul star activation. So I see the star here. Fulfilling soul contracts, remembering who you are. So like maybe this could even be you having like a sense of clarity of who you are as a person. Okay, because I do see you coming across as this queen of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, right? That's my self-care card, but that could even be like being aware of your, your own sense of self. So this could be like a message for you remembering who you are. And that you want a connection to be fulfilling. Where you can stay true to yourself here. Okay? So that's good energy. I really do love this card. Look how pretty this is. Such a beautiful deck. Alright? So that's my reading for you. And I'll see you next time, Leo. Take care now.